Hey, Tamara here on the testing ground floor. Today we're in my kitchen because we are testing out food huggers. Now these little silicone bad boys were created by Adrian and Michelle because they wanted to find a way to make fresh food last longer. They were super frustrated like the rest of us where you cut into an apple, you eat one half and you go back later and it's all brown and yucky. So we're gonna gather our testing stuff and see you in a second. All right, so I've gathered all my materials. Now I'm just gonna grab my food huggers out of the drawer, which I wanna point out, they stack, so they fit really nicely, don't take up a lot of space in your kitchen. This is actually five in one. They come from small to medium to large. So you can use them for all different size fruits and vegetables. So we're gonna try out a bunch of stuff, like let's stick a lemon in here and see how it goes. Oh, awesome, super easy. Did you hear it actually go in? Let's try a tomato, because they're kind of squishy. Oh, look at that, did you hear that? It actually fits in and doesn't, um, I didn't have to push the tomato down too hard or squish it, so that's great. So we're gonna do a bunch of different tests today. We want to test out the apple and if it oxidizes, we're gonna test it against uh, a Ziploc bag and the air to see if it turns brown and yucky or stays nice and white and crisp. We are gonna test out um, seltzer water. So I love seltzer waters, but I have this tendency of opening them up, drinking a quarter of them, and then walking away for two hours, coming back and wanting it again, and then being kind of annoyed because it's not bubbly anymore. So we're gonna check out if Food Hugger will keep my seltzer water nice and bubbly. And finally, we are putting it to the onion taste test. You know how onions leave their scent and their taste everywhere? So we're gonna put an onion in a Food Hugger, then stick it in the dishwasher, and then, not the, the onion, of course, the food hugger. And then we're gonna come back and put an apple in it and see if the apple tastes like onion or like apple. So why don't we start with that test? Oh, nope, this one. Okay, you gotta get the right size for it when you're doing it. All right, see how easy that went in? My onion is in there. Let's see if it leaves the scent in. I'm gonna go ahead and walk away and come back in a little while. I'm back, it's been about a couple hours. So we're gonna take the onion out Ooh, smells like onion, and stick it in the dishwasher. Um, I would suggest actually rinsing it off just a little bit first, getting out some of the food that gets stuck. Stick it in here. Give it a wash. And then we'll come back and put the apple in it and see if it passes the taste test. Now while we're waiting, let's try the seltzer test. It's about that time of day anyway, as I told you guys. I love my seltzer water, but I tend not to drink them all. So I'm gonna pour myself a glass. Can you see how bubbly and delicious that is? Mm, I love the smell. Okay, problem is I got about half a can left and I'm gonna want it in a couple hours. So we're gonna see if Food Hugger helps keep it effervescent and delicious. So let's try, oh, too big. Oh, you know what, probably the one that's a lemon. I like the taste of lemon anyway. It's probably the right, yep, that's just right, as Goldilocks would say. All right, perfect, on there nice and tight. All right. I'm gonna go stick this in the fridge, and then when I come back, we'll do the apple test. All right, I've set up for my apple test to see if it oxidizes. I've got open air in a Ziploc bag and in the food hugger. We're gonna leave it for about two hours and see what happens. All right, we're back. Let's see how our apple test went. All right, so this is the open air one. It looks kind of brown, for sure. Got browner than before. Oh, it's totally dried out. Okay, good to know. Let's try the one in the Ziploc bag. Wow, that's even more brown than the other one, I think. I think it's more brown than actually, you can see that the open air one. Let's bite into it and see. Yeah. It also tastes kind of funky, like it has that weird, like it's been left out taste. Okay, we're not done. Not so good. All right, let's see how our food hugger did. Well, I'd say better than those two, don't you think? It's only been a couple hours. Let's see how it tastes. Better than the other two. It actually still tastes like a fresh apple. The other two definitely did not. All right, that's our apple <laughs> oxidization test. Now let's go check out the other things we tried. All right, we're back. It's been a few hours and we are gonna finish up the seltzer water test. As you may recall, I love to open these and leave them half empty around the house. So I'm hoping that the food hugger helped keep it nice and bubbly and effervescent. So let's give it a try.
Good. Ah, can you hear that? Mmm. Mmm. The bubbles got all in my face. So that works, and you know what? My husband will be so thankful because I end up throwing away way too many cans of half drink uh, bubbly water. So, work for that. While we're here, why don't we finish up our apple test? Took the onion out of it, washed it, put the apple in. What I want to know is does this apple taste like apple or does it have that stinky onion taste that leaves, how onion leaves it everywhere? All right. Smells like apple. Mmm. Tastes like apple. Cannot taste the onion that was in it earlier today at all. That is Food Hugger on the testing ground floor. Mm. I love watermelon. If you want to be a part of what we do here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shook TV, and join us at theshook.com.